Good morning students. In our previous video of the poem Dolphins, we have done theme, title and critical appreciation of the poem. And in today's video, we will be continuing with the literary devices as well as the explanation of the poem. So by the end of this video, you will be able to understand various literary devices used in the poem. You will be able to understand the explanation of the poem and you will be able to understand the form and structure of the poem. So let us discuss the word meanings of stanza 1. World, the space where the dolphins are free, that is ocean. You, you is addressed to the readers. We, we are the dolphins. Element, element is water. Other, other means other dolphin. Man, the man here is the trainer. Constant flowing, constant flowing is water pumped into the pool. Now let us read out the text and the literary devices of stanza 1. World is what you swim in or dance. It is simple. We are in our element but we are not free. Now, the dolphins say that it is quite simple that the world is that in which you can swim or dance. Now, who is you children? You is, is referred to as the readers. So, one of the two dolphins who are imprisoned in a water pool admits that they are in water which is their natural element. They can swim and dance in it. Now, if the dolphins are in water, how can they be not free? They are not free because they are restricted in this artificial man-made pool. So the dolphins are in their element that is water but they are not as free as they used to be in the ocean. Now children, world is what you swim in or dance. It is simple. Now this line has got alliteration with the word world and what. Now, alliteration, what is alliteration? Alliteration is the close repetition of consonant sounds, usually at the beginning of the words. So, here, world, W, and what, W, R, alliteration. We are in our element, but we are not free. Now, we is the collective noun that is used for dolphins who are suffering together and share their feelings. But we are not free. But is a negative conjunction which marks the hopelessness. Outside this world you cannot breathe for long. Now this world children, this world is the man-made pool. So this a water pool in a water park is their new world. They know that outside this world, the dolphins, they are sure to die. Now why are they going to die? Because being dolphins, they cannot survive without water. So, outside this world, they cannot live for long. It is true. Now, this world, children, is metaphor. The world word has been compared to a pool in which the dolphins are restricted. So, what is a metaphor? A metaphor is when you compare two or more things without using as or like. Now, metaphor is a figure of speech in which comparison is between two different things is implied but not clearly stated. Now, Carol and Duffy has used various metaphors to explain the pathetic state of the dolphins. The other has my shape. The other's movements forms my thoughts and also mine. There is a man and there are hoops. There is a constant flowing guilt. Now, the other dolphin, that is the dolphin in the pool. Now children, who is the other here? The other is the other dolphin which is restricted in the pool. So this other dolphin has the same shape and appearance. And her movements reveal that their thoughts are also similar. Whose thoughts? The one who is speaking and the other one who is also restricted in the same pool. So outside the pool, there is a man. So that man is the controller. He is the person who controls the movements of the dolphins. Then outside the pool, there is a man who is their trainer, who is their controller and there are also hoops which the dolphins have to cross. 
and there is also a constant flow of guilt a constant flow of guilt children it is constant flow of water in the pool also the guilt is the guilt of the man for dislocating the dolphins from their real existence that is the ocean now here children constant flowing water is the metaphor that means constant flowing guilt has been used for metaphor now there is another figure of speech that is called enjambment now what is enjambment basically the word enjambment is derived from a french word which means striding over it refers to the continuation of sentence to the next without a pause now how is it an enjambment here you can see the line the other has my shape the line ends here the other's movement forms my thought the line does not end here it continues to the next so it is enjambment in the same way and also mine the line has got over there is a man again the line is continuing and there are hopes so it is enjambment where the sentence is continuing to the next line without a pause so let us discuss the explanation of the stanza from your workbook the poem is in the form of a monologue by a dolphin who lived in an ocean where it could not only stay afloat but also find joy and pleasure the dolphin remembers its previous life in the ocean and compares it with her present stage of confinement in a pool the dolphin says that although they are in their element that is water and outside it they cannot breathe yet they are confined in a pool and not free as in the expensive ocean the children what is the meaning of afloat it means on the surface confinement it means restriction and expensive it means vast the dolphin looks at another dolphin whose shape restricted movements and thoughts are the same there's a man and there are hoops this line signifies that dolphins are enslaved and are expected to perform tricks in the pools with hoops like in a circus then there is a constant flowing guilt reference here the constant flowing guilt refers to the necessity of creating an artificial habitat for the dolphins by constantly pumping water in the pool the term guilt refers to man's guilt of entrapping the dolphins in an artificial environment emulating an ocean now let us read out the word meanings of stanza 2 no explanation tremble on a flesh it means no sensation is recorded on our sensitive bodies such space limited space of pool to translate means to make sense man keeper or controller Now let us read out the text and literary devices of stanza 2. We have found no truth in these waters, no explanations tremble on our flesh. We were blessed and now we are not blessed. Now children, a dolphin is known to receive a lot of information through its skin. It has a highly developed sonar and yet in the new man-made world, it is unable to make any sense of its existence. that is why it says there is no explanation to why it is there no explanation tremble on our flesh it does not find any truth in the new world that is the reason why they say we have found no truth in these waters the only thing that the dolphins can understand is that once they were blessed when they were in their natural habitat and now we are not blessed now they are not blessed because they are not in their natural habitat now let us see the literary devices here no truth in these waters is a metaphor this shows the confined pools do not have interest of open sea now there is also a change of tense from verb to are that is the condition in the past to their condition in the present we can call it the play of contrast after traveling such space we began to translate it was the same space it is the same space always and above it is the man the dolphins have a very less space to move about they have to travel the same space again 
and again the limited space in the pool which they have to travel again and again has become monotonous the expression above it is the man reveals the man's superiority and the culpability of humans in the abduction and control of the dolphins now again the literary device enjambment is used from after traveling till the man because the line does not end at begin after traveling such space we begin to translate to translate goes on or continues to the next line in the same way it is the same space always and this does not end here it goes on to the next line above it is the man there is a use of sibilance as well sibilance is the sharp sound of s it is with the word same same and space and the word above suggests the man's superiority now let us read out the explanation from the workbook the confined pool does not offer these dolphins any truth or reality it is artificially created and lacks the expense and environment of the natural sea a dolphin gets information about its world through its skin that reacts to minute changes in its environment but now no explanation tremble on its skin that might make sense of its new world in the limits of the pool it finds nothing new but the same monotonous space always the dolphin has taken days to translate the truth of its new environment because it was so used to the expense of the free ocean where it lived before it was captured by a man besides the dolphin's confinement their activities are also controlled by a man who makes them perform various tricks by jumping through hoops or using a colored ball now let us discuss the word meanings of stanza 3 for the world will not deep in to dream in it means the artificial world of pool is unfit for freedom and dreaming of the dolphins the other who is the other children the other refers to the other dolphin reflects me for myself this shows the mutual understanding in the dolphins who are restricted in the man made pool have to shows compulsion now let us read out the text and the literary devices used in stanza 3 and now we are no longer blessed for the world will not deepen to dream in so the dolphins are no more blessed as the new artificial world is quite shallow for them that is the reason why they cannot dream in as they used to dream earlier in their natural habitat what is the natural habitat children that was their ocean the other knows and out of love reflects me for myself now who is the other dolphin the other dolphin is the one who is restricted in the same man made pool so the other dolphin shares her feelings now the literary device used in deep in to dream in and me for myself is alliteration deep in to dream in gives the sound of d that is the consonant sound of d and my, me for myself is the consonant sound of m the other the other refers to the other dolphin and it has been repeated in the previous stanza as well we see our silver skin flash by like memory of somewhere else there is a ball we have to balance till the man has disappeared now they recall how their bodies would receive a silvery appearance in the moonlight in the sea but now that is a memory of somewhere else that means that is now a thing of past in their new world there is no moon that means moon has been replaced now the moon has been replaced with what it has been replaced with a colored ball which the dolphins have to balance till their controller that is the man has disappeared now again children there is a use of alliteration with the word silver skin and the sound of s silver skin flash by like memory this is simile now what is simile simile is a comparison of two or more things with the use of as or 
लाइक हेयर सिल्वर स्किन मेमोरी इज कंपेयर टू द डेज ऑफ फ्रीडम देर इज ऑल्सो यूज ऑफ मेटेफर समवेयर एल्स somewhere else has been compared to ocean we has been used as collective noun for the dolphins the man has disappeared this phrase reveals the man's control which causes stress to the dolphins now let us read out the explanation of the stanza from the workbook the dolphin emphasizes that they are no longer blessed and this world which they inhabit now can never be as vast and deep as the previous world their previous world children was the ocean this narrow world cannot give directions to their dreams suggesting that the dreams of independence are over in these shallow waters in this stanza the poet has also stressed the mutual understanding between the dolphins and how they define themselves with reference to each other the other knows and out of love reflects me for myself the dolphin's companion is aware of their helplessness and tries to reduce its pain by simply being a sympathetic other of its species the dolphins remember the times when they were in the sea and when the natural sunlight reflected their skin giving it a silvery appearance but now it appears to be an old memory of somewhere else they have to perform till the man who orders them goes away now let us read out the meaning of stanza 4 groups means music used extensively single note whistle blown by the man loss is the loss of freedom let us read the text and literary devices the moon has disappeared we circle well worn groups of water on a single note music of loss forever from the other heart which turns my own into stone now we circle well worn groups of water is alliteration with the sound of w w w w w w w w w w we circle well worn groves of water is also metaphor it is referring to the monotonous circling of dolphins at the sound of whistle forever it means or it signifies an endless time and lack of hope so now the moon has disappeared the dolphins circle the same limited space again and again the routine is very boring as there is no real music this thing has turned the dolphin's heart to a stone there is a plastic toy there is no hope we sink to the limits of this pool until the whistle blows there is a man and our mind knows we will die here now sink metaphorically they are dying our mind our mind is unity or collective noun that means both the dolphins we will die here so will die it marks uncertainty that there is no hope of change they know it is killing them now what we see is not the moon that means the dolphins do not see the moon but they see the plastic ball to play with there is no hope of any escape the dolphins go down the depths of the pool and remain until the whistle blows to call them out now there is a man who controls their life now let us read out the explanation from the workbook this stanza presents a bleak and hopeless future for the dolphins the dolphins live in a confined world that is the restricted world of pool where the moon seems to have disappeared the moon the natural regulator of tides and indirectly the lives of dolphins has been replaced by an unnatural man-made object that is a colored ball the dolphin once again refers to the monotony of their existence it is suggested by the single note of music that is played regularly the single note refers to the whistle blowing by the man listening to the to which the dolphins perform their 
acrobatics of jumping through the hoops or balancing a colored ball the mournful that is the sad voice of the dolphin's companion caused by the loss of freedom and joy turns this dolphin's heart to stone this dolphin children who is the speaker it shows that the dolphin has sympathy for its own species now that we have done explanation of the poem we will now do style that is form and structure of the poem the form in the poem is consistent and structured in four stanzas of six lines each that means there are six lines in each paragraph and there are in total four paragraphs there is no definite rhyme scheme which could be indicative of the dolphin's longing for freedom of movement and expression there is no set rhyme scheme the poet has used regular line structure unusual syntax repetition and imagery of loss to create pathos for the dolphins who have been dislocated from their original habitat and confined in an artificial pool now children what is the meaning of syntax it means the arrangement of words and phrases to create well formed structure that means the poet has used unusual syntax unusual arrangement of words and phrases then what is the meaning of pathos it means the quality that evokes pity or sadness now what is the meaning of confined it means restricted this means the poet has used normal regular line structure she has used repetition and imagery to evoke pity or sadness for the dolphins who are restricted in an artificial pool now for homework children you will do your question number 1a state how is the poem dolphins a protest against the slow destruction of nature and natural creatures by man the question is on page number 55 of your workbook you will attempt it with the pencil thank you